Hello YTPC, welcome to the Blind Piper. I am the Blind Piper. Well, I don't want to keep y'all too long. I just want to check in for a few minutes before I shut down the shop and roll in the house. Got to thinking a little bit. Um, had a friend stop by today and when he told me he was gonna stop by, I immediately started thinking, empty the ashtray, hide the ashtray, try to make it not smell like uh, pipe smoke in here and all that. And uh, I thought, why, why am I doing that? I wouldn't do that for nobody else. I'm, I'm a pipe smoker. Pipe smoking is a part of me. It's uh, my lifestyle, it, it, it is me. It's not a hobby, it's who I am. But uh, this particular individual is a close friend and he's much older than myself and he is very anti-tobacco. Um, when we, when me and my fiance stopped smoking cigarettes, you'd have thought it was a, he was a proud new papa. It was the best thing you could have ever told him. But, uh, you know, to him, he, he looks at, uh, tobacco use as the same thing as drug use in his mind. But, uh, you know, it just got me to thinking, you know, we shouldn't, we should never be ashamed of our, our, uh, pipe smoking. And like I said, it's, it's part of who we are and it's not something to be ashamed of and we shouldn't hide that from people no matter who it is um yeah that's just uh kind of what was on my mind today i shouldn't have done that and uh kind of ashamed of myself for doing that i ashamed of myself for keeping that for uh, keeping that from him keeping it a secret because i don't do that for anybody else anybody else in my life uh, i'm very very open about it it's just a part of me so, uh, you know, we're, we're a dying breed. Uh, pipe smoking is part of the old world that's dying off and it's up to people like us to keep it going. And now with YTPC and, you know, all the online resources out there, um, there's so much, so much information to uh, keep it going. And it's up to people like us to keep it going to pass the next, uh, the next generations and everything. So don't be ashamed of being a pipe smoker. And uh, like I said, I'm a little ashamed of myself for, uh, not that I was ashamed of it, but I, I shouldn't keep that a secret from nobody. But anyway, I don't, I don't want to rant about that. Um, just a little something that was on my mind real quick. And uh, before I go, I want to show you all something real quick. I bought, I'm sure, y'all probably already know what this is. This is an exa window exhaust fan. Yes, sir, a window exhaust fan. I actually bought it mainly for the shop out here because, let me set this down real quick. <clears throat> because it gets really hot out here in the summertime and the heat builds up here in these rafters. And I noticed last year, if I put a fan in the window pulling that air out, it cools down drastically in here. It's just a, a little temporary fix, inexpensive fix, but it has a, a second uh, purpose. It's uh, about smoke this bowl down, down here. It's a Green River Vanilla, it gets a little goopy in the bottom. I have no idea what that was. <laughs> I'm assuming it was a neighbor kid. But uh, my other purpose for that is to, uh, I, I have a little man cave in the house, a little man cave, office, uh, study, whatever you wanna call it. I would say it's probably a 10 by 12-ish room with two windows in it. And I would like to attempt to start smoking in the, in the man cave in there for one. It's just more convenient. It uh, gives me another place to make videos other than just out here in the shop or on the back porch and you know, and what have you. But uh, with the missus permission, I have, uh, I am gonna do a trial run with it. She told me to give do a trial run when she, before she gets home from work. Uh, I usually get home before she does. But uh, she told me to do a trial run before she gets home. That way when she walks in the house, uh, she can tell whether it's, smelling up the house or not. So we're gonna give that a trial run. But uh, if, if that's a failure inside, like I said, I can use it out here in the shop. But uh, 
Anyway, before I go, um, wanted y'all's help with something. I am trying to find uh, two blends out there that I want to try. I've been wanting to try for a long time. One is Celtic Mist. Um, I can't think of the manufacturer, uh, the, the blender off the top of my head right now, but uh, I can only find that in a tub. And I am not wanting to buy a tub of it because if I don't like it, then I'm stuck with it. Or, I mean, I guess I could always, you know, re-gift re it to somebody or one of y'all. But uh, I wish I could find somebody that sells it by the ounce so I could at least try it and uh, know if I like it or not. But I am also looking for, I'm pretty sure they still make them. I am also looking for a Prince Albert in the pouch because I can only find the cans of that in the same situation there. I just want a, a little bit to try. So if I could find a pouch versus the whole can. That would be wonderful. Um, it's all over the, I think I blew a little bit of ash on there somewhere. <clears throat> but if y'all know anywhere that uh, I could buy either one of the, the pouch of uh, Prince Albert or buy the Celtic Mist by the ounce, uh, post up in the comments below. I would love to know because I am interested in trying both of them. I don't know why I've never tried Prince Albert. Um, it's uh, you know been around forever. I don't know why I ain't tried that one yet, but it's been a couple of blends that's been on my mind lately. And if I can get a hold of them, I wouldn't mind doing the reviews on them as well. Speaking of reviews, I got another review coming up on later this week. I have not decided which day that's going to come out just yet. Still working on getting some organization for the channel. I haven't uh, decided upon a, a specific day to release uh, that kind of thing, but uh, one day this week, I'll be on lookout and I'll let you know when it's coming out. Um, other than that, uh, I think that's about all I had. Uh, once again, thank y'all so much for all your support. I really, truly appreciate it. I am just absolutely blown away by the uh, amount of support that I have received from the YTPC. Um, and I really, really appreciate all the comments. Please keep the comments coming. I enjoy reading them. And uh, like I said, even if I don't respond or react to them, I am reading them. I just, sometimes I get busy and forget to go back and respond, but I definitely, I promise you, I read them and I enjoy reading them. But um, other than that, I believe that's all. I don't want to keep you too long here. It is Sunday night here. Uh, I don't know what it'll be when you're watching this, but it's Sunday evening on my, uh, as I am doing this right now. So I uh, think I'm gonna shut things down and head in the house and just relax a little bit before uh, Monday morning comes. So until then, I wish blessings for all and lots of luck to you and yours.